Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 18.2, Episode 54. We're in the home stretch, and it's uh, part uh, 16, I think. I wrote it down right, which I didn't write that down right. Let me see if I get that right. We got it right. All right. <laughs> so, we did a trial run that was most pleasing to me. Slaughter a whole bunch of zombies just in, in a trial run, of course. Uh, we got some other stuff we got to do to the base. Obviously, we got to get traps set in. We got to get uh, the blade traps set out in here. I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to do that. But I think I, I got an idea, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I want to do another trial run, but this time I got to up the ante a little bit. So what I'm thinking is we'll do just basic zombies. Don't have to be crazy. Uh, we'll see if I can remember how that goes. I, I want them to just be standing still and not looking at me to just still zombies they're not gonna act like that are they okay girls you ready to party yep yeah. come on let's boogie Oh, you're hungry for it, aren't you, girls? <laughs> Let's uh, add a few more of your friends here. Let's add some Darlene's. Let's add some... Uh, uh, Arlene's. Let's make it interesting. And I'm going... Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see what they're doing over here. Oh, they're all gone. But I didn't get the splody head. Oh, there's one right there. That's a splody head. There's another one. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. Several splody heads out of this. Well, not that one, but there's one. Let's uh, make sure there's no survivors. <laughs> oh, we got a screamer too. This ought to be interesting. And this is just, this is not with um, God Mode on. So where are you at, babe? I know you want in. Oh, there you are. Aww. I think I just winged her. But that should have called in some reinforcements. Now I'm in God mode. So as you can see, the base can handle... Let's see, it's 25%. Uh, 25%. So that was 75 zombies. And, and just boom, boom, boom right there. And if there's any damage to the base, it's just surface damage, really. Um, let's go to nail gun. It said nail gun. There's five damage there. Four. There's a bit more there, but that's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. This, this just holds up too damn well. 
I mean, too damn well. <laughs> There's almost no challenge in it, except that I will try to, to uh, make it interesting. You know, to jack up the numbers if I have to. And obviously, uh, when we do the real th deal, I'm not going to be going in God mode. Although, like I say, it's, it's quite tempting just to fly around and watch the, the carnage. <laughs> it's just too beautiful. It really is. Let's see what's... There we go. There we go. So, and it just everything performed pretty much like I was hoping. And that's just without traps. So that was good. And we know now that they're, they're slowed down when they're trying to come through. They're, they want to bang on the walls. Then they realize how futile that is. Although they might have actually... I don't know if they broke if they broke that or if I neglected to put a block there. I actually do that. But you know, it's easy to replace, so it's not a big deal. So everything's in order on this side. So I think I saw a block over here to add a little boo-boo. And if there's any I miss, you know, I miss them. So, they'll hold up against another horde. Now, of course, I'm going to get more variety of a horde than three types of basic zombies. But, uh, just... To see, you know, how it acts, how it reacts, or, you know, how the zombies react to the walls. Uh, I already know that they're going to try to go towards the ramp. Because their first instinct, their first programmable objective, is they're, they're going to want to go where there's a door. What's the only door that they can get even remotely close to? The drawbridge. So, and they got ripped up before they even got close to it. I mean, they, I think they came out to maybe here, something like that, out in this area. But the guns just cut them down. And they're up close to the base, right? I mean, they're right up in here. So there's no missing there. And then the shotguns, well, they did their, their magic. So let's see. There's a little ding there. A little bit there. And a lot of that might have been like just straight shots. Or just through and through shots. Tore through them and then just hit something in the back, but that's one of the reasons why I got the shotgun uh, turrets on the on the inside corners is they won't do all that much damage facing that way. Of course, they probably won't even if you, if you get hit by that shotgun from here, it's probably gonna just tickle because that's how effective a shotgun is in this game at range, at a decent range, I should say. Alright, so that was very fun. And, but that's only on one side. I might have to do a, a trial run on the other side, back there, up front, just because there's different dimensions involved in here. And that will definitely change the way zombies react. Also, I need to do a trial run at night. Uh, just to get the visual effect of it, because that's most likely when they're going to it to attack will be on horde nights. So that's something to be considered. Um, 
Let's see. We ought to get... We'll start on, on the uh, blade traps, I guess. So, let's see. Uh, no, I didn't want spotlights. That's not it. It's, um... Motion sensor. Alright. And... Do that. Okay, and I don't know, we might have to do, and yeah, we'll see. Let's get the blade traps. Let's see what we got to do. Like this. And they're th three wide, but see, it's not a multiple of three blocks that is sitting here. Be cool to set them on the side like that, but it won't work so good. So go like that. Like that. And we could fit it in like this. And Yeah, I'll have to fit it in different because we got the the um gantry way here to inside and then for the gaps we'll just put in um oh what the it's got a disappearing trap here that's interesting uh, in between we'll put in uh, spike traps all right so We'll wire up from let's see from here to there and there to there. <laughs> and that's from the corners, okay. It's there. Up there. <laughs> it's evil. That's just evil. I love it. <laughs> So these are wired so that if they're they come in through the, this this uh, quadrant towards this corner, chop chop. And this is wired so that that corner, this quadrant, chop chop. So we need to get one of these.
there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we got to get in there and uh, set up for the cameras. We need a trigger for zombies. We need to go for these. I think we'll go for 15 seconds. And this is a corner one, so we'll aim it. Right there. Uh, yeah, about like that. Okay, this one. Let's see. Where, oh, that's that's that. We need to get over. Let's see. Ah, I forgot which one I, I just did. I think it might have been. Yeah, that one. So now we got this. For zombie. Fifteen seconds. Aim it down kinda like that. Like in the middle of the of the floor down there. So once they break if they break through, God forbid, and uh, break through the wall, and it's gonna take a lot to do. So God help them if they do bust through. Um, as they're busting through the wall, the cameras will pick them up, activate the power for the, the blades, and it's going to be f spinning full speed by the time they even break through. And, uh, oh yeah. So much happy with that. Much happy. Okay, so about right there. Switch to that. I'm gonna want to turn it off so that uh, so it doesn't start spinning when it detects me, because that's gonna be uncomfortable. But we're gonna leave it on uh, just for tracking purposes. Get it figured out. Oops, getting a little overzealous there. And I'm gonna aim it about there. Okay. So it looks like all the cameras are aimed. <laughs> That's gonna be a sneaky little bastard, I tell ya. So up against the wall, there's no way they're not getting the notice of something. <laughs> Excellent. But that's not all. We gotta do a couple more traps. <laughs> Ain't no kill like overkill, baby. So, do that. I gotta get into hover mode. And... 
not seeing where I'm going. Go like that. And they'll run for 15 seconds, then stop. See, they start winding down there, so let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, see, what's the center block here? Go like that. Let's get the corners first, because they're easier to remember the layout. All right, now wire them up. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is a a literal minefield of choppy choppy. Um, I'm going to want to put another one there, another one there. That'll make me feel a little better about the, f the entryway. And actually, I might actually just go and put this. Put this in. Because I don't think the corner ones is going to cover this well enough. <laughs> and I might want to switch those to the front. Oh, that's just downright evil
Let's just hope I never ever fall into those because I have them still set to trigger when I go through there. In fact, I, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with that now. I almost feel sorry for the zombies. But do note that I've said almost feel sorry for them. If they weren't coming from my, my brains, I'd, I'd have some pity, but, you know, they're asking for it. I don't give it up. I don't give it up. Oh, let's see. Spikes. And, of course, these are the best. And we're going to need a ace load of these. And let's get down in there and place them. And let's see. That might be a problem. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure the traps are cleared, or the blade traps are cleared, so they're not getting interfered with the, uh, the spiky spikes. I really feel this is delicious overkill. <laughs> and I would try to make one, you know, make a base like this in just regular non cheaty play. It would take me so, so very long to do it. I don't even think I'd have the patience of just playing the game through enough to get this far, to be honest with you. I don't know if I would get just plum bored and move on to something else, because I, I kind of... I kind of get that way when it comes to games. After a certain point, you're just like, all right, it's the same old grind, We're, I'm done. And I put the game on a shelf, proverbially, proverbial speaking, and um, come back to it maybe a year or two down the line when it's fresh and, and just like, okay, this is interesting. I mean, these don't really matter which way they go, but yes, they do because that sucked. Uh, forgot that if you place blocks like that in, um, oh crap, it'll undo your shit.
Really? <laughs> Although that isn't a bad idea. To, to put out a bumper like that, the blades will sp still spin and it can actually protect the core, but the core is, is already two blocks thick all the way around with, with double doors, so I don't need to, to worry about that. Back to business. As I was saying, um, there is a point where I, I just get bored with a game. You know, it's not appealing, it's, it's just treachery or monotonous, and it's just like, okay, I need to be stimulated by something else. I need to be inspired by something else. Oh, god dang. These spikes always... Always do it. <sighs> okay. Fix it up. One of the, one of the games I I uh, well can't say games it's it's a genre of games that I tend to bore really easy with is role playing games. I can only think of. Two game no. One game that I played from beginning to the end screen, the credits type type of thing, and that was I, th I think it was Neverwinter Nights, something like that, a long time ago. Uh, I come close with Final Fantasy VII. But I don't think I got any further than like the, the introduction of the Ultima weapon, and I'm just like, okay, is this gonna be like the same old major boss fight? I don't want to play this anymore. I've already played X number of, of hours, and it's just like yawn. <laughs> so I've not fi I've not finished Final Fantasy VII ever. Uh, I think it was Neverwinter Nights. I played that one. Because at the time, I think... I think the reason why I finished it was because it was the only thing to do at, at the time. I didn't have exactly a great computer. I think that might have been in my K6 days. Or K62 era. Which is like before dual cord, before uh, like AMD Semprons. It was like uh, Pentium 2 type era. Alright, so those traps are down. I pity the fool that comes to my place. But yeah. All right, so we got that area done. Now we got to do the outside area. That is a lot, a lot to deal with. But we'll have to do that because I just realized how fast time blew by. It was like crap through a goose. Um, this episode's over. <laughs> oh man, that's so beautiful. Mm. May not be. Uh, Arranged in the way I, I, I like, you know, you know, these guys got to be facing this way instead of facing sideways. 
you know, kind of like these right over here they need to be turned like that, uh, turn these like that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. We got the traps all wired up so we can boogaloo on those zombies. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I do appreciate your comments. And I do my best to comment sometimes in the middle of the week if it's not spoilery. Um, oftentimes it's just before I record on, on the weekends. Um, you know, I reply to all comments, so I, I really appreciate the ones that have been commenting, like Amorphous Solid, Jim Rendell, Tom Clement, uh, Pamela Goodman. Uh, I've seen one from Cohen Bonois. I've seen uh, Grandma Shirley every now and then. She pops in and checks out stuff. Uh, Demon. And I'm trying to think if there's anyone else, but I think that's those are the ones that have been commenting the most in recent. So thank you guys for for doing that. And uh, anyways, this is the end of the episode. I don't know why you're still here. <laughs> Check, uh, take a look at the links in the description box, and until next time, which for me won't be very long, but for you tomorrow, see you later. Twitch. Twitch.